Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Um, I'm sorry it's been a minute since I posted, well I've been intending to post um, as soon as I like receive my packages and I know like I keep saying that I need to um, unbox my Rover albums and I want to but um, like I've just been, uh, you know, like my, well first of all, you know, like I just dyed my hair back on Wednesday, so it's like a purplish blue color. Um, so kind of like periwinkle, she said. Um, and because I was trying to get like a bluish silver kind of look to it. Um, and she said that it'll probably happen um, as I wash it out because, um, you know, she couldn't do it back to platinum or she didn't, she left it up to me. Um, if I wanted to go back to platinum, it would, um, or platinum, um, so she left it up to me that if I wanted to go back to platinum, um, it, like the hair follicles would be, um, ruined pretty much. And it would be harder for me to go platinum once I was finished with my Accutane treatment. And, um, she also said like, because my um, scalp is so dry as, you know, is common with Accutane, um, it would just start scabbing. So I was just like, you know, it's not worth it to me. So we couldn't get like the roots, uh, light again. So she just used like the blonde, um, that was already in my hair to add color in it. So hopefully it'll fade out nicely. So it's at least a little fun, um, for me. Um, so there is that and um so she had told me that when her sister was on Accutane she was like miserable and up until like this point you know I've been like kind of hanging in there like yes I have like dry skin and dry lips which like before like my dry lips were probably like the worst thing I mean it's still pretty bad like I'm wearing um lip gloss or um not even lip gloss because lip gloss hurts but I put lip balm and I put like some color over it because like you know I have like a bad habit now of just like um of just like picking at it uh picking at like my lips like the skin on my lips um when it feels gross so um but of course it starts scabbing and it starts scarring right here like it was scabbed pretty much um it really hurt um that looked really gross too so I was like I can't film a video um with that and um it was so bad that when I went to the dentist on Wednesday like my dentist thought like they were cold sores and I'm like no I'm on Accutane they're just scabs that I like pick at so um that was like a reason why I didn't um I didn't want to film is because like I was really self-conscious about my lips but the main reason and I think I mentioned it last time on a video is that because like my nose has like given me so many problems I couldn't breathe really properly out of it, which I think in turn I start breathing out of my mouth, which makes like the uh, dryness on my lips even worse. So um, I couldn't really concentrate. I was like really grumpy. Um, my nose was so dry, just all these different things. And um, so what it was, I finally went to urgent care because I was using like Flonase to see if like that would help my nose and um like it was just so dry uh like just clumps of dry blood would come out of like my nostrils and they just said that it was just that I'm like you know is it a sinus infection what is it and I went to urgent care and um they told me that it was probably just the Accutane the Accutane has been drying out my nose and just to put like uh, Vaseline in my nostrils to like moisturize it and hopefully that will like kind of um it'll kind of like loosen up the dry blood and I'll be able to like breathe properly um and I've been doing that but I mean it's like still I feel just as miserable as like since this problem started maybe like a couple weeks ago like a few weeks ago um 
so I'm like starting to get to the point where I'm feeling a little miserable and my um, dermatologist said that hopefully by August um, I'll be done with the treatment and I won't have to do it or um, I, hopefully I won't have to do it after that. I mean, I'll still have to like update with her like um, I think like six months after the treatment, but I'm like, please let this be in the home stretch. So not only that, but now it's starting to feel like my eyes are uh, starting to dry out too. Cause like right here it's starting to, oh God, it feels really not painful, painful, but it's starting to feel like hurt. So, um, this one's not that bad, but definitely this one, like it feels really bruised or something like it just, it hurts. So I'm starting to get to that painful part where like, okay, now you're messing with my nose and I can't breathe properly. Now you're messing with my eyes. It closed to, or it hurts to close my eyelids, you know? So hopefully we're in the home stretch, you guys. Like I'm really praying. Um, but I had uh, been getting like, uh, breakouts on my back, like a couple breakouts. And so now I'm starting to get worried. I'm like, does this just mean that I'm going to have to stay longer on my, my, uh, treatment? Cause I'm still breaking out um, and it just feels like everywhere is drying out except like my back. I mean, I'm not getting as many breakouts as I used to, but it's like still like, come on, you guys. Um, and I also just did like um, a chemical peel treatment on my back. So hopefully that'll lighten up the scars. But um, all that to say, like that was like kind of like the main reason that I haven't been... Um, like I haven't posted an, an unboxing since like I've been meaning to is because I've just been so like it's kind of like one of those things like you can't concentrate on what you're doing because you're just feeling so miserable um because you can't breathe like for me like that's like a, a huge thing like I can't breathe and I'm sounding all nasally and everything and I feel like now I'm starting um now I'm starting to, uh, feel a little bit more like myself. Like, yeah, I'm still have like that, uh, congestion cause probably of like the, um, probably because of like the Vaseline. And so like, I feel like I'm still, um, like, uh, like, what do you call it? Like I'm still, you know, like sniffling, but I think it's just cause you know, something foreign is up my nose and I'm trying to breathe properly, but at least it's not as bad as like, you know, having like, um, dry blood stuck in my nose. So I will say that that's better than that. Uh, okay. Anyway. So I keep saying like, I'm going to unbox my Rover albums and I promise that'll be soonish um hopefully later today i'm hoping but also like a huge reason why i um wanted to do this unboxing is because today is junyan's birthday in korean or in korean standard time uh so in korea it's already tomorrow which is may 22nd and so i want to do like a giveaway of his posters and so i was like okay i feel weird if i you know, um, if I do that without like posting an update on my things, cause I just don't have like any, like a lot of room on my floor to, you know, take pictures of the posters. So I was like, okay, let me first of all do this video and then I'll start like taking pictures of the posters and see what I'm going to give away. So, um, that's why I wanted to do my unboxing, uh, as well, but let's see what I'll start with. Okay, so I'll start with like the first package. It is from Touchland. Touchland. And I got these because I was listening, like, why I do like a lot of my life choices is I was listening to Snooki and Joey. It's happening for their podcast. And Snooki, Nicole. Um, it's talking about these and I'm like, I need to try them. They sound so good. Um, and it is 
they're hand sanitizers and I know you can buy them on at like um, Ulta and Sephora and Target but I order them online because you know I like hardly go out right now unless like I necessarily have to which is like totally defeat defeats the purpose because um I'm like oh well I don't want to spend money but I mean online shopping exists people so I still spend money anyway but anyway so um this is like the power mist um and Snooki said like it it's like hand sanitizer or it is hand sanitizer but um it doesn't like leave your hands sticky afterwards which is so common with a lot of hand sanitizers like I usually use like the um, Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer and it leaves my my um, like hand sticky and so even after I use it I um, I wash my hands and which is also not good because it's like okay now you're dr really drying out your hands uh, like yeah it feels clean or it is clean but like you're drying out your hands even more because now you are using sanitizer and you're washing your hands but she also said that it leaves your skin soft after using it so it's like a double thing so i was like i have to try it and this one is in lemon lime spritz and the one that she recommended is rose water so that one's for me i think the other one's like for my mom and my mom wanted like the citrusy color or um scent and this is power or citrus grove power mist and i really like lavender and like kind of like uh, calming smells so this is uh pure lavender power mist and that's for me um and so i can't wait to dry try those um hopefully um, you know, I'll update you guys. Hopefully I'll enjoy them as much as Snooki and Joey do, but they've like been raving about it. And, you know, hopefully also like, uh, would it, wouldn't it be cool if Touchland like gave me, uh, some, like a supply of them. I know they sent, uh, Joey some as well, but you know, that'll be cool too if they sent me some. And then because I did, um, go, to my hairdresser and uh, well my friend and she uh, dyed my hair my friend also gave me fiber fix uh, by Fanola so this is fiber shampoo and um, she gave me this to take a shower with to wash out my hair and I'm using the other Fanola one which I like well I haven't washed my hair yet but I like the other Fanola one um, and it's vegan and I feel like it's not as damaging as like other uh um as other shampoos are so I'm curious to see how this one will work and this is bond connector sealing uh, cream color bleaching so she gave me both of these to try out so I'm interested I can't wait to try them to see how they work um, so far I pre I'm pretty like impressed with like the Fanola products before that I was like using Joyco and um, I also was using stuff that I would like find at like Ulta you know like the um, like the purple like uh, shampoos so it doesn't like um, so like your color doesn't uh, bleed out or it doesn't like dry out a lot um, so how can I say? So like the color doesn't really like fade a lot. Um, uh, you know, that's what like purple, um, shampoo is used for. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with Fanola products. So, um, I'm hoping that I'll enjoy this one as well. Um, and I have like every, every, you know, I have no doubt that I will, you know, I have like every confidence that I probably will enjoy it. Um, before that I was like using like Matrix and, um, Joico, like I said, anything that I could really find at like Ulta and, um, Sally's Beauty that will kind of lock in the color. So, um, thank you to my friend and hairdresser, Irene, for that. I can't wait to report back to her how I like them. 
So another thing that I did was um, be on Forever 21. And I know um, they had two things that I wanted to participate in. So they had like another Hello Kitty drop, but I didn't know it was, uh, it like had anything to do with like Exo Kitty, um, which is, I guess, like an extension of the to all the boys I've loved before uh, franchise. I just thought like, oh, it's another Hello Kitty drop. Let me, you know, buy some stuff, like some goodies. But and like people, I don't know, they either like love or hate the, the show or movie or whatever it is. I haven't watched it personally. I, you know, I liked to all the boys, like the first movie and then it started getting annoying, so. Um, it's not my vibe, but I do really love Hello Kitty, and so I got a few things for this drop. I I honestly, when I saw Exo Kitty, I thought it was like um, like an animated show, so I was like, okay, it's probably about the Sanrio characters. So I got this cardigan. But I think it's so cute and it says kiss so Korean independent school of Seoul. Okay, so I guess that's why it would be uh, I guess it's part of like the movie and it has like the Exo Kitty and Forever 21 right there and the Hello Kitty um bow which I really loved. I thought that this cardigan was going to be a little longer because I wanted to wear it at work. But I mean, I, I probably could still wear it at work, especially to keep me warm. You know, when I mean, it is warming up right now, like the weather's warming up. So, you know, like not maybe per se for outside, but probably for um, inside the building with like the AC really blasting, I could probably use that to warm me up until like the end of the work day and then take it off that sort of thing which i do like keep um like sweaters and cardigans at work for that same reason um and i also got this mini skirt and i love it already it's so cute it looks like this but i love it because i'm not sure if you can see like these rhinestone hello kitties that are on it and they're also like on the back which I really enjoy like the attention to detail so I really love that can't wait to wear that and I also got this shirt you know um like like I said I didn't know it was because of like that exo kitty um I didn't know it was because of like that exo kitty movie I just thought like oh it's a cu cute shirt or show I, I think it's a show but okay so this is what it looks like and I think that's supposed to be kitty and of course she's with hello kitty so I thought this was really cute and it's like a, a crop top um but now I feel kind of silly. I mean, it's still really cute, but I feel a little silly because I didn't realize it was for that franchise. So whoop. people are probably going to be like, oh, you're probably like a huge fan of the show. I haven't even watched the show. Uh, but going off of that, I also bought some other things because I was like, oh, okay, I could also wear these things, um, these items to the Barbie premiere. But then... Um, Forever 21 came, came out with like a collab with Barbie for like the Barbie movie. So I'm like, ooh, I have to partake in that as well. Okay. And then there was also like some Hello Kitty items that I hadn't seen like the first time around. Uh, so um, I bought those two. Oh, this one's cute. Okay. I might actually, uh, I don't know, should I? The Hello Exo Kitty. I might take some of this back. I don't know. 
I'll think about that. I might send that back actually. Um, so I think this is really cute. It's also like a crop top. Um, and it looks like this. I love it and it's like Hello Kitty so I really like that um, so I'm happy with that and then I also got I also got um, Hello Kitty socks which as if I need any more socks but I thought that they were so cute um, so here are the socks and there are like one two three like five sets of socks actually yeah five sets of socks and they all have like different designs on them oh that one's a cute one you know of course since I love Hello Kitty a lot um I'm getting that and then I also bought some Barbie socks Barbie themed socks which again like um there's five sets with different designs this one is another Hello Kitty one. Oh my god. This is so cute. It's Hello Kitty and Friends. And when I saw it, I didn't even realize that like they were like it was texturized. So I'm not sure if you can see like the sparkles. Like they're not is it sequins? What is it? Yeah, I think like they, you would say that they're sequins. Oh, that is so cute. I'm so happy that I bought that this one. Oh, how cute. Okay. I think I'm definitely sending that XO Kitty one back. And I, let's see. This is, oh my gosh. This is from the Barbie collection and I'm freaking out because, okay, so this is the shirt, which you already know. I'm like a huge fan of like black graphic shirts. But also, you get a key ring. How cute is this? The Barbie key ring. Oh my god, that is so cute. And then I also got Barbie jammies. And they also come with the Barbie key ring. Ooh, this is kind of like, oh, how cute. I bought it mostly for the top. I'm like, I could use this as like... You know not only a pajama top but also like a top top to wear around you know everywhere and the shorts of course which i will wear because i love these types of shorts to sleep in and um that these also have the the key ring as well the barbie key ring and a striped crop top with another uh, Barbie key ring. Oh my God, I love this. It has like the Barbie across the chest. And, oh God, how much did I get? I guess I like went crazy. Um, and I also got this sweater, crew neck sweater, because if you know me, another thing that I really love are crew neck sweaters. And this is like a crop crew neck sweater and it says Barbie 55 and of course another key ring. And lastly from Forever 21, I got the Barbie purse. So it looks like this and inside there's like a little mini purse that you can take out if you want to. So, um... It could be like clear, which I wonder if I could take these to like concerts and stuff. And here's like the little pouch that you can take out or put inside. So it looks like this. So nobody has to see your shit. So, uh, so I think that would be pretty cool for like concerts too, you know, since now they want you to take like clear bags and stuff. So I wonder if I could use that. Or I don't know, maybe, maybe not because like the bottom is, isn't clear. If you can see, there's like non-clear area, areas, even if you were to take out the, uh, the pouch. So we'll see. Maybe I'll ask at the next time I go to a concert. Okay. 
And lastly, for this unboxing, I bought a bunch of stuff from my friend. She had like a stock sale. She used to be a group order master. And so she would host group orders. Oh God. And so I got a bunch of stuff from her. Oh God. I'm laughing because, you know, we both like to be hella extra when um, we send each other packages. And this time is no different. So she put like a lot of this, you know, like packaging grass in there because of like, it was just Easter. So I'm laughing because I'm like, oh, okay, we're both, we're both hella extra like that. Okay, so I got like a bunch of stickers. I got like not only for myself, like it's to like um, decorate um, my plan uh, planners and my journals and stuff. But I also think like they make good freebies for, you know, giveaways or if someone buys like albums off of me and stuff like that. So, you know, I bought like a bunch of stickers. These are like Kyung Soo stickers. Kyung Soo stickers that I bought. Um, so that's that. Some bacon stickers that I bought. And like EXO Christmas stickers. And she was selling them. She's like, if you want them, you have to buy all of them. So I was like, okay, I'll just buy all of like the sets. Um, so if I like one design, then I'd have to buy like all the sets. So I'm like, okay, that's easy for me. So this is like Jongin, which it's like bittersweet because Jongin's already in the military. So I think like that's also a reason why I haven't unboxed my albums is that, you know, it's just like a harsh reminder that he's not with us right now for the next two years. He's not going to be part of the com comeback. He didn't get a chance to do that tour that he wanted. So, you know, and I don't blame him. I think like they had five chances to, so this is King Sue, to postpone it. And he was only on his second chance. So I don't know who dropped the ball there, but it seemed like it was really out of um, left field for him. He wasn't expected expecting it at all um it sounded very sad like it was very sudden for him so I felt bad so that's also just like a harsh reminder because he was talking a lot about like the comeback and everything and about all his fan uh plans for 2023 so these are like notepads and like more Christmas ones and then bacon and like Christmassy ones and bacon, you know, I'll show you like the sets, more bacon, bacon, more bacon. bacon. A bacon memo pad and okay so more winter stickers and more Jongin stickers so they look like this and more Jongin stickers and I also got like this cheering kit for our channel and I don't know if I'm going to keep it um, and give it to my sister or maybe give it away for his birthday in November. And um, here are like channel mom and pads and same thing. I don't know if I'm going to give them to my sister or keep them for his birthday as like a giveaway because I really don't have a lot of channel items because I usually give them to my sister. So that'll kind of be like a good idea. And my friend also sent me this card. How cute is that? And it says... Hello, Mimi. Thank you so much for buying these. I hope they get to you ASAP. Let me know if I missed anything. Love, Jazz. And she didn't. I have everything. It's like a huge stack of things. So I love everything. Yay. And I have to inquire uh, with Forever 21 about sending back that shirt. Um, I wish I would have known that it was because of like that Exo Kitty um, 
show before I bought it. I well, I did know it was like part of a Netflix show, but I didn't know it it was because of like from that to all the boys who I've loved series. I thought it was like from an animated series where you know like Hello Kitty was like her imaginary friend. But um well, uh, other than that, I really love everything. I can't wait to touch uh to test my uh Touchland products and to test out the Fanola products for my hair. I love mostly everything that I um bought from Forever 21. They've been killing it with like their collabs lately and usually like I'm not a huge fan of fast fashion, but I'm really loving the collabs and I'll try to return that shirt. Hopefully I am able to and if I don't if I'm not able to, maybe I'll give it to my sister. And I also really love like all the stickers and the memo pads that I bought for my friend. And she is on Depop and um, she's selling a lot of like stock stuff. So if you're interested, just let me know and I'll give you her, the, her information as well. And you guys can go ahead and follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll put my um, handles in the description box. Um, I'm probably not gonna um put any of this stuff on tiktok but i unless like i do like outfit tiktok stuff uh outfit of the day tiktoks but mostly i'll probably post this on um twitter and um instagram and tagging like the companies and everything and my friend of course okay so um thank you guys so much for watching i know the first 10 minutes was just mostly me bitching so thank you guys for hanging in there if you've gotten up to this point um please look out for my junian giveaway and i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you guys later love you guys bye take care have a good week and happy birthday junian <laughs>